told us that this is the season you're going to tell your grandkids about. Tell us, this is the homecoming game. Homecoming game, big win. What are you going to tell your grandkids about today? Uh, you know, I'm probably going to... It's going to be probably a fish story or two in there. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's... I'll have to probably break out the film and show them a few things. <laughs> All right, we've got a lot of great kickers coming through Georgia. Guys like Rex Robinson, Kevin Butler today. We met, set the record for the most consecutive PATs. Let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, they've mentioned it to me a couple of times, but um, it's a nice record to set. I, you don't really think about it. I sort of lost track of the fact that I was even close. But um, it's, nice, it's nice to break it. You know, records are always meant to be broken. And um, I'm sure someone will come along and break mine eventually. So. I'll you know, uh, our players did a good job of coming over and seeing some of the things they were doing on that first series. We were able to adjust and handle it pretty much from then on out. Uh, like anything, everybody's going to have a script, and you got to be able to handle uh, the script, the first 15 plays, um, and, and get through it and uh, know what the game plan is for the other team. And once we told them the game plan and they kind of understood what was happening, I thought the players did a great job of adjusting to what we were seeing. Thanks, Doc. How much more comfortable are these players in this in this scheme now with, with several games behind their back? Well, I think anytime the more you do something, I think continuity is a big thing. Uh, I think the more you do something, like, the more familiar you become with it and the faster you can play. And uh, I think all the credit goes to the players for their hard work and what they've done. Um, and there's been other games where we've played really good, but it could be, you know, three or four plays here, which, you know, that's part of the game. And uh, the difference was here is uh, we didn't give up any explosive plays. We were good on third down. We affected the quarterback. We ended up with one sack out of 19 attempts, but we really had two, but we had a penalty on the one, so it doesn't count. Uh, we were able to create field position for the offense. So I'm really proud of the players, their effort, their attitude, their intensity, and the way they prepare during the week and the things that they've done uh, during the game day. These past two weeks have been kind of confidence builders for this defense? I think any time, you know, when you go two weeks with only giving up 14 points, that's definitely a confidence builder. And, uh, you know, we'll enjoy it today, and uh, come Monday it's back to work and get ready for security. You didn't fumble today. How, how much confidence did you gain? Uh, I gained a lot of confidence. It's just uh, Coach, Coach McClendon, he's been telling me all week just, uh, just to keep running the ball hard. And whenever I see contact, or I feel like I'm about to get tackled or uh, put two hands on the ball. Yeah, how do you how do you fix something like that? I mean, it's, it's something you've been doing your whole life, but how do you fix it? Uh, I just feel like just going out there and practice, practicing on it every day. Just knowing you're about to get tackled, uh, just wrapping the ball up with two hands. And, um, just knowing that you got you got your teammates, you got your teammates depending on you, and you don't want to let them down. I feel like that's that's a big part of. It. Just choice to have AJ kind of uh, largely a decoy today and, and go to the other guys, or it just work out that way. It just worked out that way. Um, I mean, AJ definitely gets some attention from guys, and uh, you know, there's definitely a couple of plays that are called to him. And, I mean, there's I look over and there's two, three guys on him, so I'm like, ah, I'm not throwing it there. I don't care if the play is designed for him, but. Uh, um, he, he definitely opens things up for everyone. The running game, um, you know, other receivers and stuff like that. And you know, we've had guys stepping up and making plays. So you know, I'm comfortable throwing to any of those guys. And our running backs did a great job today. Well, chance to get back to 500 next week. You sort of rebuild the season in stages and in steps. Oh yes, um, we're just taking one week at a time. Uh, we're not looking ahead. And, uh, we just got to keep winning. Got to keep working hard. And uh, we know what it takes to make it uh, to win games. Uh, we've been working hard these past two weeks in practice. So. We just got to come out with the right mentality come Monday and keep working hard, and uh, you know I think we'll get the same results come Saturday. Thanks. Thank you. Coach Rick said uh, last week that he was easing you into the playbook a little much. Are you dealing with 100% of the playbook now? Um, Boy, that you know of. I mean, they. Um, you know, we had plays here and there throughout the week. We feel like there's a certain play that they. Um, um, and we feel we can execute against our defense. Um, but they, they call plays that they feel like are going to work. They're not going to just put out the whole playbook and go, here's the whole playbook. We might call this play, this play. I mean, there's too many plays, and not all of them work against certain defenses. And, uh, you know, they, they'll, they'll game plan and they'll draw plays and things like that, and they'll make sure I'm ready to go. So I don't, I don't know if they're holding back or whatnot. I think Coach Bo is doing a great job of making sure I'm prepared um, with what he gives me. Uh, he really, all day long, quizzing me, quizzing me, quizzing me on you know the, the plays and the uh, different coverages and where I go here and there. So um, he makes sure, I'm, makes sure I'm ready and I feel I'm feeling good. Um, I still got a lot of work to go. I uh, definitely left some points on the board today. I feel like I missed a couple passes here and there. We could have got some touchdowns and uh, moved the change a couple times. So I still got some work to do. You know, we'll go back, I'll go back, watch the film and, uh, you know, watch the film with Coach Bobo and we'll make the corrections and um, I just got to keep working. But uh, I feel the rest of the guys said they did a tremendous job. The receivers and running back and the offensive line did a tremendous job. I, I didn't get sacked, uh, gave me plenty of time to throw the ball and, and um, 
and we had I don't know over 200 yards rushing. So I mean, for them, that's that's an unbelievable job. That shows the you know dedication of our work those guys have been putting in. Great job, Aaron. Break us home a winner next week. Thank you. How much of Sean's run spark you guys? Seemed like you guys got a joke after that run. Oh, that was huge. Um, on a what, 50, 60 yard run, that was a great run. And uh, whenever you have a big play, you're always going to feel great after that. And we were able to you know, start clicking and momentum just felt like it uh, you know, definitely swayed to our, our, to our sideline. How big is this for you guys just putting together another day like this two weeks in a row? Uh, it's great. It's a great confidence booster. Um, especially uh, going one and four start the season off. So now get some two great wins under our belt, get some momentum, and uh, you know hopefully that'll carry us the rest of the season. We just got to keep working hard uh, during practice, and we'll get the same results we feel like. Aaron, with, with the rushing attack, does it make it easier on you back there if you know you have to pass? Oh, it definitely, um, uh, to have a great rushing attack, it definitely helps out a lot. Uh, you can ask anybody, any quarterback in the nation, um, when you don't got, got defensive ends and linebackers teeing off and just sprint, uh, you know, sack the quarterback, it's, it's, they're a little bit more cautious about the run. It definitely uh, gives me more time in the pocket and uh, just opens up everything, like, um, you know, with the play action game. So um, our running backs did a great job and our old line did a great job of opening up some holes for them to make some plays too. And I know... The defense was excited about the zero under Vandy's name. Were you? Oh, I was pumped. Um, those guys are uh, working shooting hard. Coach Grantham does a tremendous job with uh, getting them ready and making sure they're prepared every week. So I'm definitely happy for them and uh, them getting the goose egg. So hopefully they got a couple more left down the rest of the season. Obviously, you had a rough start to the season. A big storyline heading this year was an inexperienced quarterback. What's the biggest thing that you learned in those four losses to start the season? Um, it's just, I mean, you, it's a long season. You can't just. Uh, you know, lose for four games and think the game, the season's over with. I mean, we've bounced back, had two great wins, and, um, you know, still got, I think, what, five games left to go. So there's plenty of opportunities to turn the season around and have a, you know, uh, uh, what most people consider a good season.